Shut up and sit down. Greetings, fellow travelers. Oblix here. And today I want to take just a second to talk to you about this magical mystery box. So many months ago, I joined a Kickstarter campaign for the watch that is hopefully in this box. So let's get to open it and take a look. Towards Once we get past the unboxing, I'll take you over to the Kickstarter campaign and show you all the nuts and bolts about this campaign and why I joined it. So opening duties today are going to be by the Kershaw Blur in sand, desert sand. Nice little piece. Lovely sharp. Make short work out of this thing. And let's get in here. Oh yeah. I love a fresh unboxing. So they did a double pack. box out of the way. Uh, luckily they did not seal the second box, or bag I should say. And then we've got a third bag because, you know, you can never have enough bags. All right, there we go. I got a dive box. So obviously this is a dive watch and it's an aqua sea. So yeah, I joined this campaign a while ago and they finally made fulfillment. Uh, they were pretty late on the fulfillment, I'm going to tell you. Um, you know, definitely some delays. Uh, I got a, a mother of pearl dial, and those seem to be the problem dials. I guess they had a, some quality control issues on the first batch. So they had to send them back and get a, another batch done, or at least that's what they, they said in their text there. Um, so, you know, fair enough. Most Kickstarter campaigns are pretty late. I would rather have a a watch come in right, you know, for this price, then have something come in janky, so we can deal with a little bit of time. Uh, it does have the the relief valve, which is cool, so it's a, actually a good dive box. Uh, let's pop this bad boy open and take a look at what all is in here. Uh, so reviews. Oh, let's see. This is interesting. Do not change time by turning hands counterclockwise. Do not attempt to adjust the date when the hour is between 8 and 4. Well, that's kind of normal. Uh, okay, so yeah, we'll sketch on the warranty part. But we'll see. Uh, Mother of Pearl. So I guess that's the bag it came in. I'm not real sure why that was tossed in there, but okay. Uh, we've got a cleaning cloth. We've got a warranty card. And yeah, that almost looks like a Y. They kind of sloppily spelled their own name. Interesting. Um, <laughs> instructions didn't come, so there wasn't instruction. The instruction warranty manual did not come back from the printer on time. And we didn't want to delay shipping over that. Fair enough, but they. They had a long time to get this instruction manual taken care of. Uh, okay, we got a tag, not on the watch. Five, that's not an issue. And a uh, certificate, uh, delivery inspection, blah, blah. Fair enough. Uh, we got some tools, Looks like a little mini screwdriver. We've got some uh, heads for the tools. And we've got uh, a tool that accepts those, the mar heads. Uh, and we got an extra strap, uh, silicon rubber. Uh, you know, I found out the other day, and I've kind of suspected it for a while, but I just found it out the other day because I wore a, the, if you want follow me on the Instagrams, you'll know that I wore a uh, Victorinox Maverick yesterday. Uh, my yesterday. Today is, for me, Friday, so it would have been Thursday. And it's got a natural rubber band, and I've noticed, uh, you see that little 
a rash right there. I'm actually allergic, apparently. I don't remember ever being allergic before, but apparently I'm allergic now. So I can't do silicon rubber, so that's going to stay right there. Uh, I guess we age, we change, right? So let's take a look at this bad boy. And completely covered in all manner of plasticisms, which is fine. So we got the pearl, or the mother of pearl dial, the white mother of pearl dial. Very nice. All right, let me get this guy unwrapped and we'll take a closer look. All right, guys, so we got the plastic all off here. We got the camera back down to normal review height. And let's take a closer look at this guy. So again, mother of pearl dial beautiful. Now this was offered in many, many different colors. Uh, both Sunburst and Mother of Pearl, some vintage styles. Super cool. Let's, when we get over to the computer, I'll show you. Ceramic bezel with BWG9 loom all the way around. Uh, of course, screw down crown. Uh, it is marked signed crown, signed clasp. It is a milled clasp. Very nice. Solid in links, very nice. Screw down case back, which is, uh, you know, does have their logo on it, which is nice. Uh, it is 300 meters or a thousand feet water resistant. Uh, so it is a true dive watch. Helium escape valve off here to the side. And you can see a nice mix of uh, polished and brushed. So we're brushed, you know, all the way down the, the face but were polished around all the sides, including the bracelets. So polished all the way down, brushed on the faces. So really nice. Um, and then of course, polished around the bezel. Uh, date complication at the three o'clock, applied indices all the way around in a minute track. Now this, you could get two different movements. Uh, a Miyota 9015, which is what's in this particular piece, and the other one, I'm having to look it up over here, but it was an ETA 2824-2, which I did not opt for. It's obviously more expensive to get that Swiss-made movement. Um, and I just, I like the, the style of the watch, so I'm like, I don't want to spend a million dollars on an ETA. I would rather just save some money and, you know, go with the 9015. I'm just fine with that. Uh, it does have the screw-down links, uh, which makes sizing much easier in my opinion so very nice that is a lot of kit guys i mean you've got the whole the whole box plus the tools uh, sapphire crystal ar coating ceramic bezel helium escape valve solid in links you know stainless steel all the way around screw down links i mean that is a ton of kit and i paid 279 bucks that is a ridiculous deal for, you know, for a piece with this many features on it. Uh, you know, hopefully the quality holds up. Man, that thin, that's actually pretty darn thin, too. Look at that. Not often you find a Miyota uh, 9015 that's that thin. Wow, I'm impressed. Uh, I do think the bracelet's a little, little narrow. A little narrower than I would like. Um, you know, these lugs have a you know, they taper down a little bit, but then there's a big gap between the lug and the bracelet. I would I, I would like to see that out a little more, but that's that's pretty Rolexy. Uh, so you know, definitely a homage. Thank goodness it doesn't have the Mercedes uh, dial or hands. I really am not a fan of Mercedes hands. Uh, I know a lot of guys like them. You're welcome to love them all you want. I just don't. I will say my bezel is slightly a little bit loose. Not bad. I mean, it's not, uh, there's no playback. It's just a little bit uh, loose to the watch, but that makes it actually turn pretty nice. So I guess, you know, there's a balance there between too tight and too loose. Um, I don't normally do an, a loom shot on unboxings, but I will do one on this because, you know, it is a dive watch, and that's kind of one of the big key features on dive watches, right, is that all that Swiss Superluminova thrown, slashed about all over the the dial and the bezel and this should have pretty darn good loom we will take a look at that so let's jump this on the wrist real quick it's we haven't sized it so it's going to be a little big 
today's uh, piece. If you've been watching me on the Instagrams, you will see that for Friday I was wearing the Boulder Venture, so I do still have that on. Love this little guy. Fully titanium, uh, which is awesome. And of course they have a, a Swiss movement inside. Even all the hardware, the buckles, is all titanium. So super nice. Uh, very inexpensive too. Uh, Boulder's been, been kicking it lately with some great stuff. Uh, so let's set that to the side. We're going to go lefty on this one. And most of you guys know I Schwarzkopf it quite often. You know, most days you'll find me wearing two watches, so I almost always have one on the left hand anyway. Though usually it's my smartwatch that's over here. Uh, boy, that does gonna, that's going to look really nice on the wrist, isn't it? It's just a great size. It's not too big, you know, so it's overpowering. It's not too small. It's thin enough. It will work well with suits. You can go James Bond and uh, you know, be in a, a tux in a, in a, with a diver. Not even need a dress watch. Uh, yeah, that's that's really cool. I'm, I'm liking it so far. We'll definitely need to get some wear time on it, and uh, you know, do the full review and see how the quality is holding up. But let's take a uh, jump over to the computer and we'll take a look at the Kickstarter campaign. All right, guys, we're back here at the computer. And I've got it pulled up, and you can see that uh, it is the Aquacy 300 meter limited edition dive watch with tons of extras, and there are tons of extras, and you can still purchase it uh, today, even though the Kickstarter campaign is finished. Though you're going to pay more than we did for the Kickstarter campaign. Uh, if we look down, you'll see I paid 279, so I was a super early bird supporter, and uh, you know, it ended back in October. The campaign ended in October with an expected January delivery date, and here we are, pretty much at the end of March. So it, there was quite a bit of delay there, several months worth of delay. Um, again, I'm not too fussed about it as long as the uh, manufacturer keeps communication, which I will say they did, uh, and as long as the part, you know, the piece comes in as a quality piece, if it comes in jank and it wasn't worth the wait, then I'm going to be pissed. Or if they don't keep up communication, then I'm going to be pissed. But as long as they do those things, then, you know, and, and it's not six months. Six months is too long. You know, three months, you, to be fair, they were pushing it. You know, they, they were to the point where, you know, I was starting to get a little bit frustrated, and I know some of the other folks were starting to get a little bit, you know, concerned. Um, but, you know, it's still within reason, uh, so I, you know, as long as the quality holds up, then we'll be cool. Uh, again, it was available with two movement options, so you can get that 9015, or you can get the ETA 2824. Obviously, the 2824 cost more. Now I want to scroll down here and, you know, give you a quick look at what all uh, stuff it has. So 41 millimeter case pack. 47.5 lug to lug. We'll check all this out. You know, 20 millimeter bracelet. Uh, it does taper down to a 17, which is pretty darn small. Um, so that's what we were talking about. We'll definitely check all these measurements out when we do the full review. Um, comes with the ABS box, of course. Um, you know, there's 1769 pieces available. Uh, helium escape valve, 300 meters water resistance, blah, blah, blah. We went over all this stuff. Uh, they did add the milled clasp after the fact, which was very nice. That was one of the one of the things they hadn't addressed on this watch. It was a pressed clasp originally, but they went ahead and added the milled clasp after the fact, which was cool. Uh, you know, they wanted to release a really good quality piece with lots of cool features, and they absolutely knocked that out of the park. Uh, tons of really cool stuff. But I want to get down here and show you the different dial options. Look at all those beautiful dials. 14 different dials to choose from very cool and i will tell you they look different in person than they look in these pictures this yellow looks sickly in this picture it does not look like a good uh dial but i will show you a picture down here later that looks awesome uh, i will tell you i was a bit torn on which one to go with uh, i originally wanted this white mother of pearl i like the abalone uh, i like you guys know i love my full loom you know, any watch with full loom is a winner for me. Uh, this fade to black is beautiful. 
absolutely beautiful. Um, and I really like this, you know, vintage blue black sunray is really pretty as well. Uh, so I really struggled between these two and the white. Kind of ruled this one out just because I already have so many full loom dials. You know, so I was kind of like, let me go for something I don't have. I actually do have a white mother of pearl. I have a, um, a zodiac white mother of pearl. So eh, I was kind of like, ah, I should go with one of these vintage because I don't have them. But I was like, I really like that mother of pearl. So I went ahead and went with that. Uh, but these sunbursts are gorgeous as well. So if we scroll down here, yeah, there's that yellow right there. That's a much better looking picture. And that's a, I mean, that makes that watch look really awesome. The red looks really cool here too. You see, they just don't look as good up here. Like this red looks kind of, you know, faded and burned almost. You know, and the yellow just looks bleh. Um, but, you know, down here, that's a cool look. That is a good looking piece as well as the red. And then there's that blue mother of pearls looking pretty sharp too. So definitely, um, you know, pretty darn nice. Here's it. Here they are on the silicone, which are the rubber, which I can't wear. Well, it is silicone rubber, but yeah, I can't wear that anymore, apparently. Um, and then, you know, there's that, that red again. Man, that sunburst looks good, doesn't it? Uh, and that abalone. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I was struggling, guys. Uh, this is the one that sold it for me. I was like, okay, looking at this picture, I'm like, that is just stunning, and that is the one I'm going with. Uh, and I just sat there and stared at it and said, yep, that's the one. And as you kind of scroll, look at that yellow. Sure does look nice here, doesn't it? It looks so sickly in that other picture, but man, it looks good in this picture. You know, the orange looks great. The red looks good. Uh, you don't see those um, that vintage black blue in those photos because they were added after the fact. Um, they were added later down the line as options. You know, as as the campaign progressed, um, you know, they really are. You know, uh, this guy, this guy, and this guy. You know, these two vintage. Uh, down here at the bottom, and this one up here were all added after the fact, I believe, or toward the end of the campaign. You know, so they don't have they didn't have real good pictures of them. Oh boy, they sure do look cool. Uh, anyway, that's all the time I got for today. I sure do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me, as always. And until next time, you guys get out there and make some noise. See ya.